Did you really end up going to the hospital? What a drama queen. You're making such a big deal out of nothing. Wait, are you serious right now? Are you really saying that to me after what your mother did to me? Of course I am. She's my mother, you know. I love and respect her. A fight between women isn't something I need to be super worried about. It's not like she killed you or anything. You say that, but she cut my mouth and there's a lot of blood. You don't suddenly punch people like that. We only came to visit her. And yet this is what happened. How can you be so calm and sensitive? I told you, my mom is a bit possessive of me. She might say some foul things. She's just worried about me and wants the best for me. She doesn't trust anyone easily. I would have much preferred words than her fists. Your mother punched me. That's not the actions of a person who is a bit possessive. That's the actions of a person who is violent and abusive. She needs help. Yeah, that was pretty unexpected though. Can you blame her? News like marriage will put someone like her in shock. I'm sure she was just testing you to see if you're a woman who can handle that. She wants to see if you're worthy of me. You cannot be serious right now. She wasn't testing me. She's just playing crazy. Yeah, but while I was getting beaten by crazy by your mother, I could hear your voice saying, here she goes again. You didn't even try to stop her or defend me. You just stood there and watched. Listen here, Maddie, you can't be calling another person's parents crazy. You're the crazy one that that woman raised me. She gave me everything I have. She's the reason I'm successful and happy. You should be grateful to her. What? You're defending your mother right now? A normal person could easily tell that the one who struck a person would be in the wrong. Does your family not have that kind of common sense? Or are you all brainwashed by her? Cut it out. You're being extremely rude right now. I'm the man you're marrying. You have no right to be talking to your future husband like this. You should be respectful and obedient to me. Are you serious right now? I surely hope that you're not expecting to have the man in charge mindset once we get married. You're not my boss or my master. You're my partner and my equal. Man in charge? I have no reason to be like that. A wife's job is to support her husband. That's normal. You're, of course, going to always be behind me, right? You're going to follow my lead and do what I say. Whoa. What are you going on about? Where is this old-fashioned mindset coming from? This is the modern world where men and women are on equal footing. I didn't know people with that mindset still existed. You're living in the past. It doesn't matter what era we're in. The power dynamic of men and women hasn't changed. Are you saying that a woman has the strength to protect her man? Don't be ridiculous. Women are the ones that need to be protected. And in return, the women can comfort the men. That's how it works. Protect? What about protecting women from in this day and age? I have no intentions of quitting my job. You know that, right? We're both going to be working, so that means we're on equal footing. We're both contributing to our household and our future. What are you talking about? Of course we're both going to work. That's normal. There's no way I would pick a woman who thinks that she can provide for her man alone. That would be humiliating for me. You're going to work, but you're also going to take care of the house and the kids. 
That's your duty as a wife. Hang on. What do you mean? The first portion of what you were saying makes sense. But you still expect the woman to have to care for the man along with all of that? I don't think I get what you're saying. You're contradicting yourself. Of course I expect that. What, are you still out of it from those hits? A woman can't survive without being married, right? Love is like a life goal, isn't it? A man isn't like that, though. He has other things to worry about, like his career and his reputation. What are you going on about? That isn't true. That's a sexist and outdated stereotype. Women can have their own careers and reputations too. And men can have the love as a life goal as well. There's nothing wrong with that. Well, you say that, but you're already at a pretty old age now. You said that you dream of getting married and having a nice happy family. I'm granting you that wish, aren't I? I'm giving you a chance to be happy and fulfilled. So now you're showing your real personality. You're not the sweet and caring man I fell in love with. You're a selfish and arrogant jerk who thinks he's doing me a favor by marrying me. Real personality? It's only just because we haven't had conversations like this before. Oh, speaking of conversations we never had. I don't think I like where this is going. You're making me nervous and scared. What else are you hiding from me? It's not anything bad. It's just about how once we get married and start living together, mom wants to live with us as well. She doesn't want to be alone, and she wants to be close to me. She also wants to help us with the housework and the kids. What did you enter your head as well? What are you talking about? Not anything bad? That lady punched me five consecutive times. What do you think would happen if we start living under the same roof? She'll probably kill me in my sleep. Hey, watch your mouth. This is your future mother-in-law. I'll admit that today wasn't ideal, but that's just because she was a bit angry. She's not usually like that. She's a kind and loving woman. Who raised me well. Anybody else would call that being psychotic? Any person who gets mad would try to rationalize and not let their anger take over to beat another person up. She's not kind and loving. She's abusive and manipulative. She needs help. What did you say? This is exactly the reason why Mama doesn't even like you. You're disrespectful and ungrateful. You don't appreciate her or me. You don't understand our bond. Wait, Mama? Did you just say Mama? Are you kidding me? You're a grown man who still calls his mother Mama. That's so creepy and weird. Force of habit. I always refer to her as Mama, but I'm aware of how that seems outside, so I do try to avoid referring to her as that around others. It's not creepy or weird. It's just a sign of affection and respect. Oh, really? I'm starting to get used to these revelations. You're full of surprises, aren't you? And not in a good way. Anyways, Mama was just unhappy that you were stealing me from her, so it's not a big deal. Once she calms down, she'll be a lot nicer. Just give her some time. She'll eventually accept you and welcome you into the family. Calm down? Do you mean I'm going to have to deal with being her punching bag until she calms down? I'll pass. I'm not going to put up with that. Don't be like that. Here, I'll apologize for it today. I'll also talk to Mama for you as well. So let's just brush all of this under the rug, okay? Let's forget about this incident and move on. We have a wedding to plan, remember? 
You have no right to be saying that. Why are you acting all high and mighty in this situation? I feel no vibes of you wanting my forgiveness. You're not sorry at all. You're just trying to control me and make you do what you want. Well, duh. You're the one who should be asking for forgiveness. You get punched a few times and now you change your mind? You have to convince Mama to let us get married and prove to her that you're worthy of me. Huh? Is there anything in your head? I have no reason to ask for forgiveness. And I have no reason to convince her. You're insane. You're such a pushover. Well, anyway, make sure to keep an ice pack on your head. I'll give you some time to cool off. You're probably just emotional and hormonal right now. You'll come to your senses soon enough. No thanks. I have nothing further to discuss with you. Thanks for everything. Goodbye. And don't ever contact me again. You're the worst thing that ever happened to me. You're a nightmare. The next day. This is Matthew's mother, Kim. I hear that you're quite the pushover. You're not the type of woman I want for my son. You're weak and pathetic. Huh? Is there something you need? Contacting me all of a sudden? Did you ask for my contact info from Matthew? Or did you steal it from his phone? My. You're quite the rude one, aren't you? You have no manners or respect. You don't know how to talk to your elders. You're a disgrace. You're the one who randomly decided to make your living room a boxing ring. And yet you have the nerve to talk to me about my manners? You're the one who needs to learn some etiquette and decency. You're exactly the kind of person I thought you would be. A selfish, hard-headed, and ridiculously proud woman. You think you're better than everyone else? You think you can do whatever you want? Is that so? So then you don't need to be talking with me any longer if that's the case. We both don't get anything out of continuing this conversation. We have nothing in common. And I think we don't have anything to say to each other. That. Exactly that. How dare you treat your superior like that? Who gave you the audacity to talk back to me like that? You act like you have a choice. Ha, huh, you're nothing but a lowly worm. You should be bowing down to me and begging for my forgiveness. My superior? Where is the superior you talk about? Oh, you mean my elder? Well that I could understand. But you're not my elder. You're not my family, okay? You're not even a human being. You're a monster. You're treating your future-in-law like this? This isn't a good look. I can read other people's auras. That's how I knew. Your aura is pitch black. You aren't fit for my son. You're a bad influence on him. You're a curse. Oh my! There's so much I could say. Where should I start? Well, if my aura that you can somehow see is pitch black, then that means yours is whatever a black hole is. I have no time to deal with this stupid conversation. If you have something you need to say, hurry up and spill it. Or better yet, just hang up and leave me alone. You don't want to live in the same house as me? Oh, I get it. You don't want to be a part of my family. Especially being my daughter-in-law. That's right. 
Why would I want to live with a criminal? To be part of your twisted family makes me disgusted. And anyone being your daughter-in-law is so pitiful. You're delusional if you think I would ever agree to that. Criminal? Who are you talking about? Are you accusing me of something? Calling someone a criminal? Why did Matthew choose a girl like you? You're a liar and a troublemaker. Of course it's you. Who else would it be? No one else would do such a thing. You're the one who assaulted me, inflicted pain on me, and violated the law. Ha! Huh? What did I do? I don't remember doing anything wrong. I only punched you and you're making such a fuss over it. You're exaggerating and overreacting. Are you trying to make me look bad? You still haven't apologized for it. The least you could do is say that you're sorry for punching me. But no, you're too proud and stubborn to admit your mistake. You're too blind and ignorant to see your fault. Ha! Huh? Why do I need to apologize? You're the one who is trying to marry my son. Which means that you are trying to steal him from me. You deserve to be punched. And you should be saying sorry. I have never once said that I had any intentions of that. Anyways, rest assured, I'm not marrying your son anymore. I'm done with him and his family. I'm also done with you and your nonsense. Wait, really? You're not marrying my son? And you'll break up with him, right? Yes, really. Good for you. You can keep your son forever. Just don't bother me ever again. I'm going to double-check this with my son. But this means that you're leaving the house to him, right? You're giving up your rights to the property? And, of course, letting him have everything? In what world would that happen? That house is signed under my name and bought with my money. Which means that everything there is mine. I'm not giving up anything. Obviously letting him have anything. He can get out of my house and out of my life. What? Where are we going to live? We can't go back to our old apartment. It's too small and dirty. We need a bigger and better place. We need your house. How in the world should I know? You guys can just keep living in the apartment of yours. Or you can find another place to stay. Or you can live on the streets. I don't care. Just don't come near me or my house. What do you say? This is all too different from what I've heard. I'm going to check with my son. He'll tell me the truth and I will know that you're lying. This is different from what I've heard. But do whatever you want. Go ahead and check in with your son. See if he tells you the truth. That he loves you and he hates me or not. And does he want to marry me and does he want to live with me? Oh, it's also possible that he'll tell you that he's sorry for everything and that he wants to make it up to me. He changed his mind and wanted to be with me. Several months later. Hey, pick up your phone. I heard from mom. She said she's sorry for what happened. Just stop being so petty and stubborn. You can't cancel our engagement over something so minor. We've been together for three years for God's sake. I'm not the petty or stubborn one in this conversation. You are. You're the one who can't see how wrong this is. You can't stand up to your mother. You didn't respect me or my feelings. 
so don't bother calling me again. I think I made it clear that we were through and I threw your ring at your face. What are you talking about? It's just a tiny spat between partners. It happens all the time. It doesn't mean we have to throw the entire relationship away for something like that. We're in the process of getting our marriage license. We're supposed to be happy and excited. I canceled that. I'm not going through with this sham of a marriage. I'm not spending my life with a criminal and her son. Yes, your mother is a criminal. She assaulted me. She punched me in the face. She gave me a black eye. And you did nothing to stop her. You did nothing to defend me. You didn't show me that you care. I heard about the whole criminal thing as well. Mama just punched you, that's it. It was a heat of the moment thing. She didn't mean to hurt you. She was just angry and frustrated. There's no reason for you to be calling her a criminal over something like that. She's not a bad person. She's my mother. She loves me and she loves you too, deep down. You're so delusional and pathetic. You and your mother are both messed up in the head. You have a sick and twisted relationship. You're more loyal to her than to me. You're always more afraid of her than of losing me. And all you are concerned about her feelings, not about mine. You're just jealous and insecure. You're mad over the fact that my mama didn't approve of our marriage. Well, good news. She calmed down and gave her approval. She said she's willing to accept you as her daughter-in-law. She's willing to give us her blessing and let us be happy. Isn't that what you wanted? Why would I be happy over this? Do you think I want her approval and her blessing? And why would I want to be her daughter-in-law? Answer me. Who would marry someone like you? If I become part of your family, I'll have to deal with your mother for the rest of my life. Ugh, thinking about that makes me crazy. I already said this. I canceled the marriage license and I'm filing a report of your mother. I'm pressing charges against her. I'm definitely taking her to court. She has to pay for what she did to me. What? You're joking, right? You're not going to do that. You can't do that. I mean, we're trying to buy a house. We prepare to start a new life together. You can't ruin everything over a stupid fight. We're? We're trying to buy a house and start a new life together? Don't make me laugh. You're not trying to do anything. You're just leeching off me. I'm the one who is paying for the house. I used my money to buy the house and said that I would allow you to live there with me. I have to work hard to start a new life. It's just me saving up for our future. What are you doing? What we planned on though, right? Just because you fought with mom doesn't mean that you need to be doing all this. You had a bad day doesn't mean that you need to be throwing everything away. You're angry doesn't mean that you need to be hurting me like this. You're so selfish. You just want to be pampered and coddled and catered to. The moment we agreed on getting married, you decided to show off your borderline incestuous relationship with your mother and expect everything to be okay. You let her interfere with our lives and expect me to be okay with it. You choose her over me and expect me to be okay with it? You're just a bum. A bum? How could you call me a bum when I work hard every day to provide for us? 
don't make me laugh. You call that work? You barely make enough to cover your expenses. I'm the one who pays for most of the things we need. You always act like a gentleman when we go out to eat, but you're just a fraud. You know I'm the one who gives you the money before we enter the restaurant. I'm just trying to impress you and make you happy. What's wrong with that? You never complained about these things before. You used to appreciate my gestures. That's because I used to think you were a good person. But ever since your mama showed up, you changed. You became a spoiled brat who can't stand up to her. What are you talking about? She's my mother. She loves me and wants the best for me. It's normal for any married couple to have some disagreements with their in-laws. Disagreements? She assaulted me, Matthew. She punched me in the face because she didn't approve of our marriage. That's not normal. That's criminal. And you didn't do anything to stop her or defend me. She was just angry and emotional. She didn't mean to hurt you. She apologized later, didn't she? She even gave us her blessing to get married. Isn't that what you wanted? No, that's not what I wanted. I wanted you to stand by me and support me. I hope you respect me and love me, but you don't. You only care about your mother and yourself. You're a selfish bum. And I'm not going to marry you or be part of your family. Wait, what? You can't do this to me. We're engaged. We're getting married. We've already be applied for the marriage license. I canceled that. I'm not going to waste my life with you and your criminal mother. I'm going to the police and filing a report against her. And I'm breaking up with you. No, please, don't do this. We're family, Maddie. We love each other. Don't ruin everything over a small incident. A small incident? She broke my nose, Matthew. She could have killed me. And you're still defending her. You don't love me. You love your mother more than me. And I don't want to be with you anymore. You're a bum. A pathetic bum. And you'll always be one. No matter how much you pretend to be a man. That's not true. I'm a man. I'm a good man. And I love you more than anything. Please, don't leave me. Don't submit that report. You'll destroy our future. You'll destroy our family. We don't have a future. We don't have a family. We have nothing. And I don't want anything to do with you or your mother. You're both toxic and abusive. And I'm better off without you. I'm going to buy the house we were looking at with my own money. And I'm going to live there alone. Without you. But we plan to buy that house together. Well. Too bad. Those plans are cancelled. Just like our marriage. I don't want you and I don't need you. And I don't care what happens to you or your mother. You can go and live with her for the rest of your life. Or better yet, you can go to jail with her when I submit this report. Goodbye, Matthew, and good riddance. Please, don't do this. I love you. I'm sorry for everything. Can't we just talk this over? Can't we just work this out? No, we can't. There's nothing left to talk about.
there's nothing left to work out. You've made your choice and I've made mine. Goodbye, Matthew. Don't ever call me again. After a long struggle, I mustered up the courage to submit the report on Kim, and she faced the consequences of her actions. She was charged with assault and ordered to cover my medical expenses. Additionally, she had to endure public humiliation and the loss of her son's trust. The two of them spiraled into despair and remorse, realizing that they had destroyed their lives. As for me, I discovered a new sense of purpose. I pursued a writing career and decided to create a novel loosely based on the events that transpired. My book generated a massive media frenzy. It served as a cautionary tale, depicting how a mother and son crossed the boundaries of a healthy relationship and became consumed by their obsession for each other. They showcased a distorted love that obliterated everything in its path, including themselves and those around them. My book served as a warning to anyone who might find themselves falling into the same trap.